Good morning, YouTube. It is Friday. Yeah, Friday. Jeez. December 30th. Oh, boy. One more day until 2023. Anyway, we're going to go to the Howard, so I'm packing up all my computer stuff and getting cameras ready because Josh and I are going to go film some videos. I don't know what they're going to be about, so we're going to drive around today and go to the Howard. That's always a good thing. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? Off to the Howard. And we got a tight squeeze. My mother-in-law was here last night. So our car's uh, going to make it tricky to get this thing out of here. But that's what all these cameras are for. Oh yeah. Get the big red truck. Camera gear. And off to the Howard. All right, for those of you not from Texas, uh, this time of year, we get a ton of pollen. So in December, January is when all the cedar trees pollinate like crazy. The central Texas landscape sure is beautiful, but it can be a bit scary. And right about now, it's got many of us running for the tissues. And so I washed the truck, um, I'm gonna say three days ago, maybe it was four days ago, I don't know, a couple days ago. And it just was sitting there since. I haven't driven it since then. And the whole thing is covered in yellow pollen. It's disgusting. And that also explains why my eyes are constantly watering and I'm sneezy and itchy and it's just terrible right now. I need to, this is the time of year where I load up on the allergy stuff. It bothers me. The crazy thing is there's a joke that when you move to Austin, the first one or two years, you're fine and it doesn't bother you. But then the third or fourth year is when the allergies get you. And it kind of was true. We moved here, and at first it was no problem. And then now, geez, we've been here for, I don't know, 16 years or something, 17 years, I don't know, whatever. A long time. And man, it hits me like a ton of bricks every December, or January. Megan keeps saying, oh, you need to get allergy shots. And she's probably right, but we're on our way to Howard, and uh, hopefully. My allergies will behave today enough to do a good video and not sound totally nasal. Okay, getting closer. This is kind of crazy. So normally when I Google getting to the Howard for my house, it's like 35 minutes, but it almost always has me take the toll roads. And today I was like, no, no, you can do it in 34 minutes if you take I-35, which usually the rule in Austin is you just never take I-35 unless you have to because it's always a parking lot. Keep in mind, it's Friday and it's uh, almost 11 a.m. So normally, I-35 this time of day would be absolutely packed and take forever. But it's like actually moving and there's no traffic. I think it's gotta be everyone took the week off because of Christmas and New Year's, so I'll take it. I like this. Too bad I-35 is not usually this way. <laughs> it's usually bullshit. Part of the problem is the way that they did, so we're approaching these two exits in a row, and they have two, I should say, two entrances, so there's two exits, two entrances, and the entrance ramps don't, so like, they don't really have like a merge section, it just goes straight into the lane, and so what happens is all the cars are merging directly into the traffic, and then as there's more and more density, they're going slower and slower, which causes the lane to slow down, which then causes people to move over to the other lanes, which causes everyone to slow down. So next thing you know, that entire section is slow and backed up for usually at least a couple miles. All right, we're at the Howard. And ooh, we beat Josh. Josh texted and said that he's late because he got a phone call of someone who's probably gonna buy the AMG so I told him that was an extremely good reason to be late <laughs> so all right we're gonna get set up and do some filming today oh yes the Howard getting set up to film just waiting on Josh it's chilly in here uh, Richard doesn't run the AC and heat much if no one's here because well it's really expensive to heat and cool this large a space so what we're gonna do is we'll just do a talking video. We'll be sitting there with the, the cars as our backdrop. And I'm thinking we'll do where we have multiple camera views. You guys like that. So we'll actually use the GoPros and like have multiple angles. It seems to work pretty cool. Sadly, we still have that 720. I'm like, 
I, can't, I honestly can't believe this car is still here. It is truly one of the coolest cars we've ever had in the dealership. I don't understand it. It's priced super aggressive and it's absolutely stunning. It just shows you don't always know how the market's gonna behave. <laughs> so hopefully that thing's gone soon, but man, I, I might have to buy it if no one's gonna buy it, screw it. Like it's too cool, it's too fun. But anyway, uh, it's kind of quiet here. I guess no one's visiting on the day before New Year's. I guess it's New Year's Eve Eve. Okay. Ah, shit. I was just about to do a vlog, but now I got a phone call. So I thought I'd go through some of the equipment I'm using when we film. So first of all, I started switching to these little Tascam lavalier mic attached to a little recorder. Only trick with these is you gotta change the battery every single time because it doesn't really give you a warning when the battery dies, it just stops recording. So I'm using rechargeable batteries and just I just swap them out every single time. Actually I do that for all my equipment. Every single time I'm done with a video, I change out the batteries because they don't last very long. Uh, these these This type of equipment uses a ton of energy. Got my main camera, my Sony A9 with a 35, uh, 16 to 35 lens. Generally speaking, I film it in 16 when I'm pointing at myself, 35 if I'm doing other stuff, like pointing it away from me. And then my Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, I think it's called. Pro Plus, there you go. And tripod. And then I've got a closet full of charging equipment and batteries and camera shit all over. Just tons of crap oh, and then like some RC cars and other dumb shit but yeah anyway so you need a lot of equipment I've gone through many iterations of equipment and I think I'm pretty happy with it so on the, I'm recording on a uh, GoPro Hero 10 they actually do really good um, the only thing is the audio is just not up to par of like this in fact even when I record on these little task cams nothing gives as good as audio as this does this has so far been my favorite microphone of all time it's just that it's a directional microphone, so if it's not pointing at you, if it's pointing like away from you, it gets really weird. Same thing with this. So like I'm talking right now, and I point it away from me, and you can hear it kind of gets kind of weird, and I point it back, and my voice gets better, but this picks up the audio really well. It's the closest to like actually what sound sounds like. I've got a bunch, tons of crap, just tons of camera gear. Anyway, uh, let's edit some shit, see what we can get done today. All right, so I'm... Uh, not even halfway done. I'm about a quarter of the way done with the editing and I just got a message on Facebook for the 570. A guy wants to trade an R8 V10 for the 570. It's 2012. It's unmodified. Only like 20 something thousand miles. I gave him a, a, what I think is a reasonable trade in value. I think maybe he's interested. We'll see. Anyway, so we'll see if that comes true. And at the same time, Josh has been working a deal Maybe that's him. No. Maybe <laughs> Josh has been working a deal on finally getting the uh, AMG GTR sold as well. We think that deal is basically done. So I think that car is probably gone, uh, I would say, Monday or Tuesday of next week. It's still Friday. So we'll see how that goes. And then this guy wants me to call him on Monday about the 570. So we'll see how that goes. Who knows? So I, I kind of felt, we we both actually said we think we weren't going to sell anything until after the holidays, so this, <laughs> I, think we're, I think we were, yeah, we figured it out. Uh, you know how I told you about the allergy thing? <sighs> I'm getting my ass kicked, I'm sneezing like crazy. Just finished up editing that video, I think Meg's making dinner. God, I'm fighting to sneeze. I'm gonna go take some allergy meds. Meg demanded I vlog tonight's dinner because it, quote, looks so pretty and healthy. Not for you. For me. See? Or you could just say, look at this pretty healthy dinner my wife cooked for me. Look at this pretty healthy dinner my wife cooked for me. Here. <laughs> Thank you. We are really lame. It is Friday, like I said, the day before. It's New Year's Eve Eve. And uh, so finally the allergies kicked in that I told you about, so I had to take some Benadryl, so I'm gonna go to bed. Megan said I need to show you the clock. <laughs> yeah, I, we're lame. Yeah, no. We're, I, admittedly, I don't fall asleep nearly as early as Dan. No, and I probably I won't fall asleep for at least an slept. hour. Well, at least, yeah. 
But <laughs> no, I've never been able to fall asleep easily. But Dan is like. <sighs> I mean, I usually go to bed at like. I usually fall asleep around 11. Somewhere between 10 and 11, you're right. Yeah. And Close to 11. Yeah, no. Last night the baby woke up like six, seven times because molars are coming in. And Dan oh. in the middle of the night is extremely helpful with that process, <laughs> let me tell you. He'd be like, sometimes babies cry, you know? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, <laughs> so, like. <laughs> hey, they do. Oh, <laughs> you guys. I won't. Why are you laying on the floor? Jealous. Incoming jealous. Oh. <laughs> jealous. Don't play right now, you guys. Well, that's to do it for today. Uh, I guess we'll do more vlogging probably tomorrow. See you then. <laughs>